Hello, I'm Clint Locklear, and I was talking to one of the guys that's on the phones up at F&T, and uh, they had me do, I don't know, I don't know when it when it aired, because I'm, I'm kind of out in the wilderness out here in Texas, but uh, I did a, a, a trapper's tip for F&T's trapping show, and I showed their snare support, or a snare support. Now, this is a Freedom Brand snare support. It's uh, looks like it's 5 16 rod. It's got a spade on the end so it doesn't spin and it's got real heavy wire. And, and one of the questions or several of the questions apparently that came in is guys didn't understand because those tips are pretty short on the TV show. So guys didn't understand what it was and, and uh, Harry asked me if I could do a quick video on what or why and how to use a snare support in a little more detail. So that's what we're gonna do. Now you can see this trail right here in front of me. It's right here. I've got a little bush here. There's no trees here. The ground here, believe it or not, even in Texas, is hard. So how are you gonna put a snare in a trail where the animals are going, like on this trail right here, there's bobcat tracks in this trail. Now I can't set this trail up and leave the snare. This is just kind of a demo because I'm in a game ranch and there's ten to forty thousand dollar deer running around and I can't take a chance on accidentally catching one like winning the lottery. It's just not worth the odds to me. So I'm gonna set this up. Now you can see maybe behind me this trail goes out. And if I follow this trail far enough, I'm sure I can find somewhere that I can use a piece of wire off a tree or find a bush that's got more stability than these little bushes here do. But this is the best place on this trail to catch the animal. It narrows him down. It's in a straight shot. It's on the level. Everything that I want about a snaring location is right here. In order for me to, to put a snare, and I can go grab a stick and try to beat it in the ground, but didn't I say how hard the ground was here? you can't push a stick in the ground here. And the stuff that's live is real whippy. And even at home where I'm at in Tennessee, I used to try to push a stick in next to the trail and wire it off with a W, which I'm sure I'll have a video on that coming out sometime. I mean, it's a good technique. There's nothing wrong with using that whatsoever. Nothing wrong with that. But the beauty of a snare support is I get to pick the best place on the snare regardless of trees or bushes. And I get to pick that best place, put, the, put it in, it's very rigid, it does everything it's supposed to do, and it lets me pick the spot. So if this is the best spot on this trail, I can come and set this snare support right where it needs to go. I'm not letting the trail dictate where I've got to put the snare, because I may go down there and the closest tree to this trail, maybe three foot off, and I gotta try to block it down and do all that type stuff, and it's just extra work, and, you, and it, it, it's, it's not needed, to be honest with you. So we've got our rod, we've got our spade. Uh, this one's been getting some use, it's a little bent. It still works fine. We've got our heavy wire. Right here's our trail. Okay, now all I'd had, I had to, like I said, the ground's really hard here. So I just tap this in. Now I've got a heavy gauge wire that's very rigid. I'm going to adjust my wire to where I want it. Like I said, this is a demo snare. I'm not, I'm not leaving this snare here. So it's not anchored off. I'd have to drive a stake. There's nothing even out here I could extension cable off to. Now when you use a snare support, you can use a piece of electrical tape if your snare does not have a piece of tubing like this one or a whammy like this one. But what, what you most people that use snare supports will have a whammy of some kind, which is a metal spring that you push the snare onto, or a piece of tubing like I use. See, now I can adjust with this heavy wire right where I would have that for a bobcat, which for the bobcats here, it's gonna be about eight inch loop, about eight inches off the ground. 
I anchor my snare and I'm done. Now if I've got to go out here and try to put a stick in the ground and then take wire and wrap it around that wire where it's nice and tight and make a W and inverted S like Newt does, those work. There's nothing wrong with that. But the speed of this and the options this gives me is, is, is just tremendous. If this trail was on a slope with a whammy or piece of tubing, I can cant my snare with this heavy wire to be on the right angle of that trail. And that's a different subject altogether, but it's another option your snare support gives you. What it is, it's a mobile set of snare anywhere support device is what it is. It's, it's not a complicated piece of machinery. It just allows you to tap this in the ground. This isn't gonna let it spin. Everything's tight and, and the, you know, the reason I don't tie off to a bush like this, where it's all floppy, you gotta think of your snare like you're shooting long range distance rifle shooting. Your snare, your cable, and your snare support are like the gun bench. The only thing that you wanna have move on your snare, which is your trigger, your trigger finger, is gonna be the lock itself. So when this is sitting in the ground, the only thing you wanna be able to move is that lock. You don't want this thing flopping in the wind. You don't want this thing out here flopping in the wind, this moving around. When you use a good snare support, everything is rigid. Now the only thing that's gonna move when that cat comes through my snare and he comes is gonna be the lock. I'm not pull, the snare's not pulling out through the wire. It's not going up and down the trail with him. The lock moves, I catch my animal, and that's the goal of snaring. So I hope, I hope me trying to explain what and why and how you use the snare support has helped some guys out because, uh, like I said, some of those tips that I do for f and uh, TV show, they're pretty short, and I'm trying to fit a lot of information into like a minute and a half. And I just want to take the time because there's been some questions about how to use the snare support or why, but it's really simple. You beat it in the ground, you secure your snare to this heavy wire, and you want to have heavy wire on your snares. It can be a piece of tubing, it can be a, a piece of duct tape, it can be electrical tape, it can be a, a, a metal whammy. Doesn't matter what you use, you just need to make sure that it's secure so this snare cable can't pull out. And the only thing that moves is your lock. Snare supports to me are mandatory on my snare lines. We use them on the fence here. I use them in trails. I, I can't imagine going back to the what I consider, and, and don't know, hope no one takes offense to this, caveman snaring while I'm carrying a, around a roll of wire and I've got to sit there and manipulate the landscape to put the snare right where I need it. With this, I can always put it right where I need it.